this point. Time for Dart Talk. Brought to you by thedartzone.com. Stay in the zone. Thedartzone.com is an official Cosmo distributor and Windy City Fabricators, America's premier fabricators of orthotics and prosthetics, and Redwood Darts, America's newest tungsten darts. Stand straight and tall and hit them all. Redwood Darts. And now, here are your hosts, Mystery Mark and Steve P. Dart Talk carries the internet broadcast rating TVD, a broadcast that is specifically designed to be viewed or heard by the darting community, and therefore may be incomprehensible to other lesser mammals. Darter discretion advised. Okay, welcome to Dart Talk. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Victory Tuesday. We're partying like it's 2010. Oh, man. Uh, Dart Talk brought to you by the Dart Zone. Stay in the zone. The DartZone.com is an official Cosmo distributor and a New York Ranger fan, I believe. Oh, well, uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, chat room girls here. Mystery Marks here. Steve Pinoncielman's here. We're going to have uh, some live guests on the show. Uh, nice. In the second second quarter, I think, we have uh, Robin Curry uh, is going to talk to us about uh, Canadian darts. Uh, she was at the Canadian you, Nationals you a couple like of weeks ago. You say that like you have a question mark. I think we really do have Robin Curry on. You're like, oh, Rob no, we do. Robin Curry? <laughs> well, what do you do? Get get a little smoke in your eyes? I don't know what's what happened. <laughs> I think it's the glare from these lights. Little, you get a little choked up from the intro. <laughs> the intro. It's got you all emotional. Hey, I couldn't believe we won. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I know this is a dart show and everything, but I would be remiss if I if I did not mention what a fabulous, fabulous hockey series the Stanley Cup fantastic. final were. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I know, I know the Hawks won, and we're delighted. Woo! We're stoked about that. We are delighted. But, you know, the Bruins really, what a great team. Mm -hmm. And what, you know, 50 tough guys laying it on the line for six straight games and basically seven when you count all the overtime. Playing injured. Playing like ridiculous Beaten. injured. Like, I, I guarantee you there's 10 guys in the hospital right now. Yeah. They're, Turned they're, out, Hanzus had a broken wrist. Uh, Bergeron, had a, had, Bergeron had broken ribs. Broken uh, ribs and, and a had bruised whatever. spleen. Oh, he's yeah. he definitely had a concussion. Right. Uh, grade two MCL sprain yeah. for Bickle. Mm -hmm. Hansu's had a knee and a broken wrist. The li and I, they won't even say what was wrong with Sharp. Right. Hosa's like entire right side's going numb. Oh, well, he barely. And played, the guys yeah. out there. I mean, you talk about wanting to win something and playing for pride. I oh, mean, was, I, was, uh, I'm telling you, I've never. 
It's abs- it was absolutely unbelievable. I mean, the, put just the, the NBA whole to series, shame. Yeah, put the NBA well, to just, shame. We're pretty much, it almost puts football to shame, too. I mean, these guys, I mean, but it's just exciting. It, it was just the the way it happened, and, and every game was exciting, four overtimes out of six, and um, except for, you know, Except for the one two to nothing win by Boston, everything went down to the last minute. Well, they're all one one goal games, yeah. except for the two nothing. Well, and then the, the right. Hawks got the empty netter. So oh it, right right right. So that was three to one. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's pretty close. And everything was down to the wire, and it was it was just fascinating. It was fascinating to watch. Obviously, we're happy because our team won, but you don't get many championships in Chicago these days. And uh, you know the Hawks are the Hawks are it right well, now. I, I got to tell you, as, as you know, I, I took one for the show, and I took it upon myself to watch the last two minutes of the third period, I don't know, 17, Repeatedly. 18 times. Yeah. yeah. And it, the amazing thing on the, on the game-tying goal was the passing, these short mm-hmm. little passes that were just like from Keith, or from actually from Kaner to Keith to Taves to Bickle, where the puck only moved like six, right. seven feet and left the ice and tape to tape to tape. That was awesome. But that last goal, and we'll say something about the last goal, but when I watched it, that we had five guys five guys on the ice and all five touched the puck. Mm. Well, and you venture, just don't see that much. I would venture a guess that I would say I would probably say since it happened seventeen seconds, ninety percent of the people watching the game, especially in bars, missed it. Well, here was the funny thing. I actually went to Murphy's to see the game. Mm-hmm. I sat out in the patio so I could smoke in peace. Not that smoking is good for you. I thought you but quit. I did. <laughs> I, I failed at that, by the <laughs> okay. way. You're still in progress. Yes. It's a, it's a work I, in, it's I a am work a in work in progress. Yes. Anyway, so I'm sitting there and uh what was it, like eight minutes left? Boston mm-hmm. scored to make yep. it uh, two one, and it looked dire. So, I'm um, immediately, you know, because like I'm the only person who's sober. Yeah, um, I'm like, well, we got to do something. So I told the bartender to change the lights in the bar. I sw- swap seats with Jill, and now I'm sitting next to some guy's girlfriend, in between Jill and some other guy's girlfriend. Oh, that girlfriend, works out right? well for you. Right, right, right. So, uh, is it that simple? Well, so Just what? Is well, swap seats with your girlfriend. So you, gotta, so you could well, you, sit next to some other. No, girl? you got to <laughs> okay. do something teach, to teach get the rally how, cap going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. We'll get the darts in a second. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the darts in a second. This is why you need to listen to dart talk, and you need to. Everybody needs to hang on every word I say, because we we score the tying goal, and everybody's high fiving each other, and this girl is like, "Oh, yay! We're going to go in overtime." And I'm like, "No, we're not. We're going to score again." Five seconds later, right. the puck is in the net, and I am brilliant. You are brilliant. Because even Quinville said in his press conference, well, no one saw that coming, and I'm just waving at the TV like I did. Yeah. I called it, but dude. like, Yeah, but 90, so 90% saying. of the people, especially in the bars, are cheering, high-fiving everybody, and then they turn around and they've scored again. I guarantee they all missed it. This is one of the things, this is one of the problems with turning darts into a big-time sport, is when you see a sport like ba- basketball or you see hockey, you know, a physical sport where mm-hmm. you can actually see Guys laying it on the line, guys sacrificing their body. Sure. Um, and you appreciate the effort. You can't really see darters. You, people don't see what. No one watches Phil Taylor practice eight hours a day. No, no one can really see, you know, the kind of sacrifices could, that darters make to get to the level that they they're at. They televise golf every weekend. I mean, that's. Yeah, you don't really see that. But a lot of people don't think watching golf is like watching paint dry. A lot of people won't watch golf. Golfers watch uh, golf. I think enough of them watch it. In order well, to the the players put it watch on every weekend. You know, it, most of the I would say the vast majority of people who watch golf on television play golf. Right. Right. So you're saying, but that means you have to get more people playing darts in order to watch darts. Well, when it comes to like getting fans, and I, I want to talk about this later in the show, but it's just sort of what struck me because all I think about is darts is watching the hockey and seeing how people are getting so excited. How do we get darts to, to even remotely match this? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, what can we do. what can we do? Well, we, I mean, we guys, can broadcast my chat room because my chat room is absolutely hilarious tonight. That's what we can do. That's going to get everybody excited. involved in darts. People will get that excited about darts if they could just <laughs> see my chat room tonight. <laughs> so she's not following the conversation at all. That's no, awesome. She's my, busy. Yeah, well, okay. Well, that's great. Right. Well, the idea, though, the idea is how do you get big time attention for darts and how do you raise darts to a big time level? Right. It's never going to be pro football, it's never going to be hockey. 
you know, but, you know, in America anyway, hockey's a niche sport, right? There's plenty of people yeah. that watch hockey that didn't play, right? They like the action. They like Correct. the colors flashing by. They, they respond even to my the mom, crowd. Even my mom said she could understand it enough just to watch Yeah, it. the puck goes in the net. It's a goal. Yeah, I mean, right. you know, okay, I get her, that. Her, her best right? statement was, you know, they blow the whistle, somebody did something wrong, so they start up again. <laughs> That she doesn't need to know what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I was married to a Norwegian for a long time, and, and, you know, she didn't understand football at all. And at one point she said, you know, it just looks like they, they, they start, they dress up like astronauts, and they just all fall into a pile, <laughs> and then they just get up and do it again. But why do they stand in a circle? <laughs> and I'm like, let's watch something else. All right. Anyway, so, but, but that's what I thought of when, when I'm, I'm watching this and I'm enjoying it so much. And I'm like, how can we get people excited about darts mm-hmm. the way people are excited about hockey? Right. I, I guarantee you, you know, the people in Boston did not have the reaction we had. Right. No. They're devastated. No. Yeah. The people in Toronto were devastated. And it's rough when, you know, we love our hockey team and these guys are worthy. Well, our hockey sure. team Absolutely. is worthy. We, this is the first Chicago team that I've ever seen, with the exception of the Bulls. But the Bulls were more like, you know, two guys and then whoever they plugged in. You got a real team here. You got a core of like eight, nine guys winning that the played cup awesome. Is, winning a cup is way more difficult than winning an NBA championship. I think, I think it is. I think it's I think check the harder. hospital ward and that'll yeah. tell you. Right. I mean, you, wh- <laughs> it'll start filtering out what was wrong with it. I guarantee you something was wrong with Chara. Something sure. was wrong with uh, Lukic. Yeah. Uh, who is his center? That guy, 47, he was hurt. Uh, anyway, let's get off hockey. <laughs> I mean, Yay, let's but we did, we had to, we, we had My to, was getting anxious. we had to get the hockey in there. Hey, it was we, an important we gotta thing. We got to get some props. We got to get some props thing. out to the and Chicago Blackhawks. And I, I got to tell you, you know, I thought Boston was great. Mm-hmm. I just thought they were great. And, and if it would have gone to a game seven and we would have lost it, I'd have been like, I wouldn't have been convinced Boston was better. No. But I'd have been like, hey, great game. Great series, and and congrats to you guys because I don't know that we deserved it more. I just think we had more skill. In the, when when push came to shove, we had a little more legs and a little more yeah, skill. Yeah, I mean, regardless, it was just you know, a really good series. Great series, was, great was hockey, watch and, and great you hockey. Have, we we even though we're a dart talk show, we have to be happy that you know we don't get many championships in Chicago, so we're we're very ecstatic about well, this one. And we try not to be homers, but right. well, eh, we're. But we're homers. You, you you know, we'll put a warning on the YouTube post that, you know, you could fast forward the first 10 right, minutes and right. eliminate all the hockey. <laughs> uh, by the way, you can always, uh, you could find us on, on YouTube. We have our own channel. It's called Dart Talk US. All one word. If you uh, search that on YouTube, you can find all our old uh, shows in video form. If you want the audio only, you can go to iTunes. You could go to Stitcher.com. You could go to TuneIn.com. And if for any reason you get confused, you can just email darttalk at gmail.com and we will send you the links. I have been posting them on Facebook, but I haven't done it lately because the uh, YouTube is changing kind of like how the links look or Facebook is changing something. So I'll start posting right. links again uh, after this show, but um, sorry about that if anybody was inconvenienced. Um, I have no idea. We. Why don't we get Robin on? Let's, well, we'll so take yeah, our first break. Have we done the Real quick, we want to do a synopsis. Oh, we should disclaim everything. Well, we should at all. disclaim everything. Let's first. disclaim everything first. Let's I'm take care of business. Time. The views and opinions expressed by guests on Dart Talk do not necessarily reflect the thoughts or opinions of the hosts, our sponsors, any official Dart sanctioning organization, and post hoc ergo propter hoc, any and all spelunkers, debunkers, raconteurs, roustabouts, technocrats, hepcats, cat ladies, Lady Gaga, the Four Seasons, the Three Stooges, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, hipsters, kibitzers, hellions, the fickle finger of fate, or Tom Waits. Okay, so we disclaim all that. I started writing a new disclaimer, and uh, Jill took a crack at it and wrote a really funny one. And then I forgot to bring it, so we oh. may have a we may have a all new right. disclaimer next week. We'll do something with it. Do it was wanna, actually. Do you want to go into a little synopsis of what we actually have on the show tonight? Well, I, didn't I do that already? Well, we oh, well, well we're we going to talk. We have your report on webcam darts. Okay, you actually which you did not say we did not bring that up. Yet. I didn't bring that up. No, we have a report on on webcam darts. We do. And uh, we also have waiting in the wings a couple of actual live human beings. Mm -hmm. We have uh, uh, Robin Curry, who's been one of the top uh, Canadian women dart players for, I don't know, a decade or more. And we also have uh, Callie West is with her. Callie's been one of the top Americans for, I don't know, last decade or so. So we got two of the top women. Uh, We still have not given them a nickname. I'm just saying. They thought Whisper Twins was funny before the other two, 
Yeah, I, I the nickname said no. that we have. For yeah, him. you said no for the one nickname, the nickname we have yeah. for him. So, we okay. might want to pass through. So, I got you, girls. Okay, so I got you. Chat room girl <laughs> next uh, one possible nickname for Callie and Robin. So we have them, and then I I want to. There's been some like I don't know how to characterize some of the discussions I've seen online, but I'll just say that uh, a lot of people have not been listening or not been listening okay. close enough. We'll just we'll put get it that, to that way. At the end, so there is one. Uh, I do want to talk about this one thing that that people have been banding about, and and see if we can't make make better sense All of right. it. And uh, what do you got? You got anything? No, I, I say we well, l- take a break and come okay. back with the. Uh, oh, we got the world domino finals. The world domino finals. That's from my chat room. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we co- have we ever covered dominoes. Have we? Or should we begin? Should anybody ever cover dominoes? Do I don't know. know. Do we need to, to say my, say the quote from earlier about our American dark? Oh, okay. <laughs> we did have one really <laughs> funny funny quote in the <laughs> chat room right before the show. Yeah. And uh, w- it so what was it? <coughs> this is American Darts, where we talk about how to phantom throw and play best of three. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's the state of American if, Darts. If that's the state of American Darts, I want to quit right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, uh, we haven't, well, you know, we haven't talked my about best of three in a funny. long time. That was pretty funny. Yeah, pretty my sarcastic. Chat room's funny tonight. All right, we'll take our first break, and then uh, we'll, we'll get Robin Curry on to talk about the uh, Canadian Nationals that went on uh, a couple of weeks ago and some other stuff. Mm-hmm. You listen to Dart Talk with Mark, Steve, Chat Room Girl, and we'll be right back. Okay, back for the second quarter, brought to you by the Dart Zone. Stand the Zone. The DartZone.com is an official Cosmo distributor. Also, many thanks, Windy City Fabricators and Redwood Darts. Let's see if we have uh, Robin Curry We've available. We've got some guests. Robin, are you there? Yep, I'm here. Awesome. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. How's uh, How's everything in uh, your nape of the neck, your neck of the woods there? Oh, it's pretty quiet right now. I uh, just got back from the Nationals, which is always a long, tiring week, but... 
getting uh, recuperated, ready to go again. Awesome. I'll I'll try to contain my jealousy. What makes it long and tiring? <laughs> uh, it's it's a very long week, and um, we we have it's pretty much ten days all told. If uh, you play the before tournament and the after tournament, uh, it's quite quite long days, a lot of darts. Yeah, let's tell the listeners who who aren't familiar with how the Canadian uh, Nationals run exactly what the format is. Because personally, I think we should be looking at something like this stateside. Because uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong here, Robin. What you guys do is you have like a uh, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday warm up tournament. You have yep. Mondays off. And then Tuesday through Friday, you actually have the Canadian Nationals. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you have the Canadian Open. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. So you you basically, everybody's traveling to one place, but you get three tournaments in. And it may be, if you work it right, it only takes you one day or one week of vacation because you got two Mm -hmm. weekends in there. Yeah, it's, it's totally up to you as a dart player whether you play the tournament before and the Canadian Open afterwards, but I look at it as an opportunity to win some money and uh, to help pay for your expenses while away playing darts. Yeah, I want to get back to that about about how how easy or difficult it is for women to make their expenses when they travel. But the, the majority of people are going to guarantee be playing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then it's just... Yeah, it's uh, whether you stay for the other stuff. Right. So uh, yeah. uh, explain explain to everybody, Robin, um, kind of what the Canadian Nationals is composed of. Um, well, it starts, it, it's a yearly um, thing that happens in June. It starts in November by uh, zone shoots in your particular province. You have uh, four zone shoots to qualify for a provincial championship. And out of that provincial championship, they take the top eight women and the top eight men to represent your province, um, which mine was in Ontario. And uh, we have quite a large group of people um, playing for those 16 spots. Now, uh, geographically, of course, I'm I'm as challenged as most. Uh, (laughs) The province of Ontario is the size of, I don't know, what, three or four good-sized American states? Um, yeah, I would say so. Um, actually, Ontario is split up into two um, sections. You have Northern Ontario and Ontario. So having said that, it is quite large. And it'll take you, if you leave from Toronto to get out of Ontario to go to um, Manitoba, it would take you probably 14 hours drive. So that's, I don't know, like the size it's of like, Texas, maybe? Well, it's like Something driving like from here to Pennsylvania. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. not a lot of, um, what haul. we have to do is mm-hmm. we have to accommodate way. the lakes. Because you have to always go around a lake. If you're from southern Ontario to get anywhere, you have to go around a lake to go west. So do you have a car like I see in like ice road truckers? <laughs> where <laughs> <laughs> I have a little Honda Civic that gets uh, pretty good gas mileage and it's got a lot of miles on it. I like that. That's a, a good. Uh, <laughs> do you have chains on the tires, or I mean, you know? No, no. Actually, they plow the roads very good. Oh, okay. You have to have them <laughs> in California. They still use chains yeah. when you drive in the mountains in California. They won't let you on the road if if you don't have chains. I mean, it's kind of strange that <laughs> they don't do that in Canada. <laughs> I agree. So, um, okay. So the the Canadian Nationals, you you, it, it takes you what like eight or nine months to get through the all the qualifications just to get on the provincial team. Yeah, like I said, you start in November, you have a shoot in November, January, February, and March, I believe. And for Ontario, our provincials are held over Easter weekend. And um, from there, you you have your team to go to the Nationals, which is always held in, in June. In June. So yeah. now the you've got eight men and eight women on, yeah. on the provincial team, and then you're going to be playing... Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So what, what all are you actually going to be playing uh, once the Nationals start? On the Tuesday, you play, we have as opening ceremonies. Um, it's basically like um, you see the Olympics parade in with your flags and, and the appropriate provinces um, all parade in uh, via bagpipe. And uh, you have a little bit of opening ceremonies followed by the ladies and men's doubles. The ladies and men's doubles. Yeah, and so then, so there's four teams from each uh, each province in the men's, four in the women's, like that. Yes. Do you, yeah. uh, <clears throat> excuse me, do you pick your partner, or do you have a, like a captain kind of like 
calculating who you should play with or how does that work? In I'm, I'm sure different provinces do it differently, but in, in Ontario, it, it's, it's picked um, by our team captain. By your team captain. So he yep. did he go by height or age <laughs> or? No, basically, I think what they try to do is put you with somebody who you've had previous um, success with or you know the person you because sometimes for partners. you could be playing with somebody you don't even know. Ontario is so large. I'm, I'm curious because you're, you're one of these darters I see, you know, on the circuit that usually plays with the same partner. Yes. You know, uh, yeah. Does it, does it throw you off to play with somebody different or is it, do you start missing, uh, missing your regular partner or is it just <laughs> sort of like, ah, whatever? Oh, definitely. But, um, uh, this year I played with Kim Whaley Hiltz, who I've played with many times before and we we're good friends as well as, as good doubles partners and, um, I have no problems with that. I had a long discussion uh, with somebody. I gave a golf lesson Sunday morning to uh, my niece. Never been on a golf course before. and You or your niece? My niece. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Sorry. I know it may seem like that uh, last time we played. but and, and then my sister was there naturally. She's a couple years older than me, which apparently makes her think that she's right about everything, mm -hmm. which doesn't really work for me, actually. <laughs> So there, I'm, I'm, a shock. I'm trying to teach her, I'm trying to teach her how to play uh, her, you know, simple stuff, how to teach her niece how to play. And at one point she's like, well, she shouldn't hit off the first tee. And I'm like, why? She's like, well, she may be nervous and she may not hit it well. And I'm like, so she's like, but she's a girl. And I'm like, what does that have to do with it? <laughs> right. You know, does it so what she wanted her to do? Just go up and walk and drop one in the fairway. Yeah. <laughs> and, and her knee and, and my niece is like, no. And and Mary's like, why not? She's like, well, because I'm Tiger Woods, and I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, there's a well, difference that's a, of opinion. That's here. a pretty good lesson you gave her. But but I my I talked to my sister later, and I'm like, look, because she corrected me a couple of other times. Like she can't do that. She's a girl, and I, I'm like, finally, I'm like, I don't know what the rules are for girls. I just know what the rules all for, are for golfers. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know I mean, and the reason I bring this up, Robin, is uh, I'm curious if it's different playing doubles with women, or. Uh, that the women play doubles differently than the guys do because I see guys that like sometimes are, are chatting all the time and other times don't say a word to each other. Yeah. And I don't get to see the women play much cause you know, we're always, the guys are always busy playing somewhere. So right. how does it work? Are, are the women kind of just like the guys, some are chattier than others. Some are really quiet like that. Oh, definitely. And I think we, I've noticed, yeah, a lot of the guys don't stay with the same partner. There's, there's very few guys that will, um, travel with one partner and where I think girls like familiarity and they want to, Oh, I've played with her before. Yep. I like her. We get along. There's a lot of, lot of chemistry. I think that, that goes along with uh, playing doubles with somebody. Yeah, in not, women, Maybe not so much in men. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. The only problem I, I have is if I'm playing with somebody who doesn't see cricket the same way I do and, and throws kind of like a different <laughs> strategy. Yeah. Then you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I, that always messes me up. I, I think yeah, I hear, I think 99% of the, the one, so. 99% of the people don't see cricket the way you do. Well, <laughs> they should listen to the show more often. <laughs> okay. So you start out Tuesday. Sorry. I, got yep. sidetracked there you start out tuesday and you're playing the the men's doubles and the women's doubles and is that it for the day yeah it's a, a full day you're in a section it's round robin you oh, play okay. um eight ten teams other teams to make it out of your round robin and then you're into the knockout and they play it right down to the final they play it right down to the final i it was great because they were streaming the final and they actually yeah. had, I don't know, I don't know her name, but they had a couple of, of women that were talking, uh, you know, during the stream. And I thought that really was cool. Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, it. Catherine Haycock. Oh, is that her name? Well, if, if you see her, tell her I, I really liked it. I, I couldn't catch her name. Definitely. And I think she does a tremendous job. She really did. And they had yeah. some glitches where the scoreboard kind of froze or something. So she managed to, you know, kind of repeat what the scores were. Mm -hmm. So you could still watch it and know what was going on, even though the scoreboard, I thought it was great. Yeah. Her it was great. and uh, Rick Smith started that uh, streaming probably two years ago, just as something to, to fool around with. And it really, really took off in Canada. And a lot of people do watch it. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it was great. We actually we tried to post links, but they never knew what time it was going to be on. So it was kind of hard to, you know, post links. That's kind of one of the problems that they had at, at another tournament where it was like 
it's hard to stream something if, if and it's hard to promote it if, if you, you don't, don't know, know what time it's, going, it's going, going to start. Right. You know, hey, we're going to be streaming yeah. Sunday. Keep checking in. Well, who's going to do that? Yeah, and then if you post the time and, and you don't actually have something on there at that time, everybody's like, what is this? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. it's kind yeah. of yeah. a. It, it doesn't start at, at a particular time. It all depends on when we get done and we are ready to play. Sure. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of bleeding edge. Uh, Start promotion there. So you yeah. played. Uh, <laughs> so you're going to play round robin. What is it? Best of three in the round robin. Best of five. Yeah, it's best of three in the round robin. Um, top four advance, and then after that, it's best of five, and it would be knockout. All right, so that's a pretty good long day of darts. You're going to play yeah. 21 some legs of of doubles just to get out of the round robin, something like that. Yeah. 21, yeah. 24. Start um, generally about 10 a.m. and you're finished. If you're in the final, probably seven, seven thirty. Nice full day of darts. Yeah, that's a long day. Yeah. So that's Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. So what are we doing on Wednesday then? Uh, Wednesday is singles, and once again you're in a, a round robin situation with uh, all the other provinces, and top four advance, and then you play it down to the finals as well. So now I noticed. Uh, I guess I saw the men's final with uh, Norm Tremblay and uh, Ken McNeil. Yeah. And they refer to Norm Tremblay. Uh, I'm sorry, Tremblay, as a ranked player. Yes. If you are ranked top 16 in Canada, you can buy in to the Nationals to play your, just the singles. So you can play as a ranked player. Say say Ontario is really, really tough. You didn't make the team, um, which happens. You can, play, you can buy in as a ranked player, and you can still play uh, uh, the Wednesday event. So what's the, is the fee like your firstborn child? Or? <laughs> um, no, I think. I'm not too sure what it is, but you, you're you responsible for your airfare, your hotel, and I'm not sure what. Okay, so then the other players it, uh, lose, are, are kind of if like... If you lose, you lose health care? No, no, no. It, it sounds <laughs> yeah. to me... No, no, no. Well, <laughs> no. It sounds to me like if you make your provincial team, your your provincial organization is going to pay your airfare and your entry fees and your hotel and all that when you go out there? Yeah, as, as far as Ontario goes now... Um, Different provinces have different um, ways to do things. I know some provinces don't even pay your way there. If you make the team, it's up to you to get yourself there. Ontario is very, very good. They pay our airfare, two shirts, and two nights accommodations for every player that uh, makes the team. Two shirts? Yeah. Oh, you mean like your team shirts? Yes, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, they get yeah. shirts too? Yeah, they get shirts oh, definitely. too. definitely. Do they, are they, are they women's the shirts or are they just... Canada? Maybe I want to move uh, there. No, they're just uh, general <laughs> shirts. Just general shirts. <laughs> what, what would be the point in playing Which is in a, fine by me. In a right. province that <laughs> didn't pay your way? Well, you live there. What choice do you have? Well, but sort of like I live in America. I'm but stuck if you're a ranked player ADL, in that province, know? why bother when you can buy your way it's in anyway? Oh, well, that's because then you got to fly yourself there. But, but if, you yeah, if, if your anyway. province isn't paying anyway, why even bother? Why bother going to the qualifier? If you're a ranked player, though. It's hard to be ranked if you're not going out playing. Right. Right. So it's, I, it's I, just it's just very prestigious to win the Canadian championship. Right. Yeah. And I would think it's pretty prestigious just to make that Ontario team. From what I hear, it's a pretty deep or <laughs> pretty right. deep uh, field that you got there. Well, I tell you, every year I I am very thrilled and honored to to actually make the team. I I go into the weekend um, a little unsure, a little uh, you know, it's a it's a very tall hill to climb. And uh, I'm thankful for for being able to do it. It's it amazes me sometimes. I I don't a lot of talent in Ontario. Okay, it sounds to me like Callie West may be in the room. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. She's just uh, I I hear whispering every once in a while. Yeah, we may, sorry. We, <laughs> we may have to call you guys the Whisper Twins since uh, the other nickname I had for you was like completely rejected by yeah. Chat Room Girl. I, I, I rejected it. Well, once. obviously she has good taste. Though. Well, there you go. Yeah. I don't know why she's on this show, but exactly. Um, okay, so Wednesday is singles, yeah. uh, round robin, and then knockout. Yeah. And then, so what are you doing Thursday then? Thursday is the mixed doubles. Mixed doubles. Yeah. So is that is that another deal where the captain tries to pair you up based on yeah. Yeah. some mysterious formula of chemistry? <laughs> yeah. that, you know, yeah, flipping sure a coin, whatever, with, it doesn't uh, matter. I played with Andre Carmen, who him and I, we've won um, a couple of nationals, I believe. See, that strikes me as a very good pairing. He strikes me as, and I don't know him very well, but he strikes me as a very easygoing, just relaxed he guy, is. laid back, 
no worries yeah. kind of a player. And then you always struck me as you, you never seem to get rattled. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I like to to to, to play it anyway. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll stick to that story. Is that is that what you want? Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. No, I love Andre. He's a great guy. I really enjoy myself. Uh, we we actually did very well until we got to the knockout uh, part of it, and then we lost. Oh, but, hence the uh, term knockout. Yeah. Uh, so you guys were doing really good in the round robin and what, ran into one hot team? Yeah, we went 11-0 in the, in the round robin. We didn't drop a, a game. And uh, I think we lost second round of the round robin or the knockout to uh, uh, Nova Scotia. To wow. Nova, are they Nova yeah. Scotians? Yes. Okay. To the Nova Scotia. Team Nova Scotia. Did, did, w- is it a little bit? Uh, a little bit worse when you're playing for Ontario and and you don't win as opposed to if you're just playing another tournament, playing in the mix with some schmuck like me. I mean, does it hurt a little more? <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. Is there bragging um, rights? Yeah, between Nova Scotia and Ontario and oh, there's there's always rivalries and um, you know it is when you, when you put the shirt on, it's like putting your 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 national shirt on, like Canada versus the U.S. It, it always. Yeah, it's just a little heavier than your other has shirts. has a meaning. Yeah. See, this strikes me as th- they really have it. They have the right idea mm-hmm. with this. See, we don't have anything like this in America, right? Like, uh, I don't know. Like, this, all the all the big soft tip tournaments have, like, a well, national we don't have team. Provinces. I mean, what, well, what we do have do? states. Yeah, well, I we know, have regions. Okay, so you wear a Texas shirt and an Illinois shirt. Well, no, shirt you could have, like, well, no, you could have, a, you could be, like, on the Midwest All-Stars, right, the West which region, would the not East encompass... Region. Right. States that are not in the Midwest, <laughs> right. okay, like Texas, not in the Midwest. I'm sorry. Or a South. We talked about this a long time. We, you could get like five or six regional teams yes. of all stars and have them do it, mm-hmm. right? Well, you'd be in like the 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 South, the West, the Midwest, Southeast, the Northeast, whatever, yeah. whatever mid Mid Atlantic. Right. I mean, you could divvy it up West Coast, because the way the ADO does it is silly. And they have these arbitrary regions that, like, cut through the middle of states because this guy doesn't want to, I mean, it, it just <laughs> doesn't make any sense. But, you know, she's talking about, you know, there's, there's, pride, there's pride in representing exactly. your province. Right. Definitely. Well, you know, pride in representing the Midwest. I mean, if you think of who the Midwest All-Stars would be, I mean, you'd have a pretty, a pretty tough uh, array of players. You yeah. get, like, some of the... To get through, right. Yeah, I mean... It, Steel or soft tip. I mean, there's plenty of good soft tip players in Florida. There's plenty of good soft tip players in the Midwest. I know that there's quite a few on the West Coast. I don't know that they play much on the East. But either way you did it, the idea of instead of – we talked about this earlier, Robin, and chime in as soon as I, you know, pause for breath. uh, Would you like to take a break? Uh, Let me do – we'll finish this one point and then then we'll take a break. Because I was was saying, wouldn't it be nice – to have tournaments like this where it's like two weekends and a week in between Mm -hmm. two or three times a year or or four times a year instead of traveling every other weekend all year, right? Instead of like making 24 separate road trips to 24 separate tournaments, take one road trip to one big tournament. Right. And it it seems to me it would be cheaper on the players. And do you get more people that have a problem traveling to be able to go to one destination? Yeah, and then and and then the other thing, and you could chime in on this, and then we'll take a break, Robin. Like she was saying, that they play their provincials on Easter weekend. Mm. The one thing on the steel circuit that they don't do is they don't have tournaments on holiday weekends. We could think of one tournament on the East Coast. They have Labor Day weekend. Everybody's off Labor Day. Why aren't we having a tournament that starts Labor Day weekend and runs until the next Sunday? Right. You could have the our right. nationals that week where you only have to take four days off work. It's not even a whole week of vacation. For most people, they get, you know, get Labor Day off or yeah. whatever. Right. You know, and then you don't have to, you know, you make it like three tournaments. Uh, yeah. it, se- it, it seems to me that that's a, a very sensible way, and you guys have the same problem we have. You know, geographically, you know, the Canadians are spread out from east to west awfully far. Mm-hmm. That's your chance to chime in. I took a break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just um, speak. You know, Would you like my bell? <laughs> Uh, everybody, as, as long as I can remember, as long as I've been involved, it's always been Easter weekend. Um, a lot of players don't like it. They, they, they lose time with their kids, um, but they do it. And those are some really dedicated players that every year, year after year, they spend their, their Easter in, uh, in the provincials championships. That's uh, got to be hard. 
Awesome. Okay, we're going to stay with us if you can, uh, Robin. We're going to take a quick break, and uh, we'll be right back. You're listening to Dart Talk with Mark, Steve, Chatroom Girl, and we'll be right back.
Okay, back for the second half, brought to you by the Dart Zone. Stay in the zone. Dartzone.com is an official Cosmo distributor. Also, many thanks, Windy City Fabricators and Redwood Darts. And we still have uh, Robin Curry with us, I hope. We hope. Robin, are you there? Yeah, we're still here. Awesome. We didn't lose him. <laughs> no. Okay, sorry, that was a long break. We have fist fights apparently now every break <laughs> where we have to argue about all sorts of things. And I, I did learn something new during this one. Because I didn't realize that when you adopt a, an animal from the pound, it's classified as a rescue. Yeah. Yes. Is your mic on? You hear me? Oh, no, I'm talking oh. to chat room girl. She has uh, issues. Jenny, I have to turn it off because I don't want to record the pre-show. So your mic was off. Fight and like the break fights. So See, I think actually <laughs> we should record the, the fist best, fights. It's probably better recording. than the show. Yeah, exactly. I win a lot, girls, just so you know. She doesn't win at all. All she leaves a trail so of anyway, blood from yes. here to her car. Steve, did, Steve was not <laughs> knowledgeable about the fact that not at all. when you go to the Humane Society, you are rescuing an animal. Yeah, I thought it was an adoption and rescues were something else. So I didn't realize that they were all that you're rescuing, which is cool. So we're going to plug a, uh, a Toledo rescue benefit. Awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. You may Mar as well do it now. Marathon Man even wants funky music during the breaks. See? What music? What's that have to do with music? rescuing dogs? What does that have to do with <laughs> rescuing dogs? Our fight that we just had to You got outvoted on the song. <laughs> Give it up. Whatever. Would you please plug You the have a minority Toledo opinion. Would you please plug the plug Toledo Plug the Toledo event? thing now that we brought it up. Oh, good Lord. I got to go back to this. Thing. Okay. Well, we anyway. Darts for Dogs <laughs> on June 29th. Can you hear her? Darts for Dogs on June 29th. Yeah. Darts okay. for Dogs, June 29th go. in Toledo. Uh, luck of the draw, five thousand dollar guarantee. Thirty five hundred to the men's side, fifteen hundred to the women's side. This is soft tip. Uh, doors open at nine a.m. Sign up at eleven. Shoot starts at noon. Um, it's at Icons. You can go to IconsToledo.com, and a five dollar donation from all entry fees goes towards the Toledo Pit Bull Project. The all Toledo right. Pit Bull Project. All right, we'll post a link to that on the Dart, Lock, Dart Talk Facebook page and. Anybody want to go to Toledo and, and play a draw that benefits uh, dog rescue? Have at it. Yep, I like that. And I I anybody else that's got like little, uh, you know, little charity shoots, you know, we'll plug them. You get them to us in advance, and we'll plug them earlier. It's kind of last minute notice for some people in right. Toledo, but holy Toledo! Anyway, uh, where were we, Robin? I think we're on to Thursday. Did Are we, we on to Thursday? Did we finish Wednesday? Yeah. I think Thursday we was the mixed doubles. Ooh. They, yeah, they lost in the second round right. after going 11 and 0. We were done with Wednesday. We're on to Thursday. Well, I thought. Okay. Or, or are right. we done with Thursday? Are we done with Thursday? Oh, yeah, they lost. So we're, we're done. We're done with Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys lost in the second round of the knockout. We're done. So yeah. how about yeah, Friday? That's it. No, What's I was done. Pretty much. You were done. You actually, you know, you did pretty well, I'm, I'm thinking, on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, oh, we never I, actually I, said how you did, but. I'm a little bit disappointed in my in my play this um, this year. Um, not too much to write home about, uh, but uh, it is what it is. I played well, but uh, a lot of top fours, and you know, I'm I'm a little disappointed. A little disappointed. No, Can no, you, yeah. no top ones. <laughs> no, no top ones. Oh. Um. <laughs> when you when you come back from a tournament like that and and you're disappointed where you know you played okay or you played pretty well but you didn't win, are you beating yourself up the entire drive home or the entire flight home? Are, are you like me and you're kind of like oh I, you're you're just thinking about two darts that missed or you should have done this or you should have done that or do you pretty let it go pretty much right after it's done? Oh, definitely. I'll go through it and um, figure out what what I feel I've I've done wrong or. Or what have you and after uh, having said that it personally didn't do so well our province of ontario did amazing we um coveted the um canada cup which is basically a accumulation of all the points that you received during the week ontario did ha did take home the canada cup and we also got gold in the Nodor Cup, which I didn't mention is held on a Friday. That's what we were getting to. I was yeah. going to ask you what exactly the Nodor Cup was, because that's the, is that part of the Canadian Open? No, it's part of the Nationals. It's okay. head to head, sudden death, uh, singles play, first one to get four wins, wins, and they move on to the next round. It's very, very nerve wracking. So is it is it the women and men playing separately or together? Yeah. Yeah, they play separately. There's a blind draw and on which province we play and you you just you just keep playing and the team captain puts up eight of the or seven of the best players you have. You always have to sit one 
and they play in the first one to four wins, or like first singles matches, first four singles matches wins, and you move on to the next round. And it's it can be very, very, very strenuous if you're the last player standing and you look down the line and you're the last one playing and you have 16 people hovering around your board. Is this is this after the Canadian Open? This is the last. This is of the weekend? last. This is the yeah. last event of the Nationals. So, is, so it's yes. a speed play thing. Then? Well, no, it's no, it's not a speed play. What they do nope. is you're playing a team match against another team where it's seven singles matches, and the first team gotcha. that wins four matches advances. Right. I, do I got that right? Yes. That's and there's correct. no there's no round robin involved. It's knockout, nope. blind draw. So Ontario wow. had to play. Whatever, Saskatchewan. So it's, it's a little bit of speed darts because if you if you win, no. if you're in the process of winning four no. to one, <laughs> no, it's not speed darts because you got seven matches and you I'm need to win four. Speed darts. What she's saying is if 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 it's three to three and you're the last match, everybody's watching oh, your match right. and it's nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, my my good friend Kim Whaley Hiltz told me the first year I qualified to make the Ontario team. When you get to the No Door Cup, finish first, finish fast. So and you don't I've get always tried to keep that in mind. So you don't get stressed out mm -hmm. being exactly. the last person. Oh, I get it. Okay. And, and for several years, I was always the last one playing. <laughs> I look around, and Kim would be there smiling, and be like, "You, oh, oh, oh." You don't do that phantom throw thing, do you? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always looking for the dart. To hit they the only board do that on. Say, you still have no. three darts in your hand. <laughs> 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 I don't like that myself. Okay, so then, <laughs> so the who won the no door cup then? Uh, Ontario. So in the men's and the women's? Yes, sir. It's uh, it's actually, no, I don't think it's ever been done before. That you swept? The province has won the Canada Cup and both golds in the Nodor Cup. So Ontario. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, congratulations. Ontario basically beat the heck out of the whole country. I'll be in Ontario well, in two we, weeks. We won more games than everybody else, put it that way. Do any of the Ottawa Senators play darts? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, had to bring that in. <laughs> I guess it's probably not. Well, no, because I, I, I have talked to some of the Canadian guys, and, and, you know, some of them are really into hockey. Like, I don't know how Jeff Smith ended up being an Edmonton Oilers fan, but it was fun talking yeah. hockey with him. It's nice to actually talk about something other than darts for only about, you know, 10 or 15 seconds. <laughs> but it, it, I think it's healthy, 15 seconds a day we, of we considering something We spent 15 minutes of the show talking about something it other than darts. It was a special <laughs> occasion. It was like the, the, Not 15 seconds. the hockey version of the No Door Cup. <laughs> okay. And there did you, you see the thing I posted with the, the most interesting man in the world? I don't always win the Stanley Cup, but when I do, it only takes 17 seconds <laughs> or something. I was, thought it was funny. Nice. Anyway, enough about hockey. Um, yeah. So then, okay, so then you played, uh, you played the Canada Open, which is that just like a normal – Round robin knockout singles thing. Yep, it's um, it's an open tournament. Anybody can play, um, but as well as any singles event in Canada, it's always ranked. So you're you're never going to meet the number one, or number two, and number one are never going to meet until the final. Right. So you actually use seeding based on yes on what the NDFC ratings or that's correct. Yeah. And that, that's an accumulation of, like, selected tournaments that are held all over Canada? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it's, is it anything like the ADO thing? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Well, because we, uh, you get points for certain tournaments, and then, you know, depending on how you place, you get so many points, and they count up the points, that kind of thing. Yeah, our points are very small. Um, like, you would get 40 points, say, for uh, Virginia Beach or what have you, but we would only get, like, say, 12 it's it's a very small allocation of points. Is the and ratio the same? I mean, is it like do you get twice as much for first than second, and then twice as much for second as joint third, or is it? No, it's pretty comparable. Um, it, it's again based on entries. Um, so, say uh, in a large tournament like the Easter Open in um, Toronto or St. Catharines, Ontario, you would get say ten points. Second place would get eight. So it, it is very close. So if you come in second, you're you're still awarded a, a decent uh, point. It just seems like it's more attendance oriented when you do it that way, where it's like, how do you catch up to somebody if they just go to the same tournaments you do? Definitely. You know what I mean? I yeah. mean, in and if it's seeded, you're not going to be able to knock them out before they get into wh whatever round they're yeah, starting to earn points. Right. Yeah. And they also um, cut off. You're only allowed to count so many tournaments in your own home province. 
So you can't go to every tournament in the province of Ontario clean up because we have more tournaments than say PEI has. Right. And win. We're only allowed to count three. Um, in my ignorance, what is PEI? Prince Edward Island. That's oh. a province? Yes. It's, it's an very, island. Very small. Well, why is it a province? Is that the one off of Vancouver? No, that's Vancouver Island. Oh. PEI well. is between Nova Scotia and uh, Newfoundland. Does anyone live there? I mean, I don't have a map handy, but you're, you're talking about some pretty remote places. Yeah, it's very small. I'm not too sure on the, the size, but uh, there's some very talented players come from PEI. Okay. Well, okay. Let's yeah. – um, congrats on, on uh, winning the Nodor Cup and, and the uh, Canada Cup. Is that what it was? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, congrats on that. Uh, one of the questions in the chat room will will kind of like I wanted to talk about this anyway. Uh, whether or not you'll be going to England for the World Masters? Uh, no, I'm not going to go this year, only because there's too much going on. I'm going um, to the World Cup with Cali, and um, after that is two days, and then you're off to uh, the Masters. So unfortunately, it's not financial feasible for me at this time. So I'm going to have to give it a pass. Yeah, it seems like if you had to choose between the two, it's it's kind of a no-brainer to, to play the World Cup. Although I confess, and I told you this, you know, in, in our our little pre-show fist fight, that you know I I called <laughs> it that wasn't World Little. Well, the one I had with with Robin, oh, okay. you weren't here for that, right. or you just came in to eat. But the uh, <laughs> what I said was uh, that I considered the World Cup, you know, the way the WDF runs it, as a second-class event because there's so many players that are banned. And then you pointed out to me that uh, when it came to the women, I was totally wrong. So you should tell everybody why I was wrong, because very few people get that privilege. Yeah, please do. <laughs> really. Yeah. Fire away. Um, for, for the ladies, pretty much that's all we have is, is anything that's organized by the BDO, WDF, is the World Masters and the World Cup. We don't uh, have a PDC um, outlet in, the, uh, in, in Britain. Yeah. Um, not yet. Not yet. Not Mark Mark accuses me of, of like seeing conspiracy theories, but we kind of agreed that uh, what the conspiracy was as far as why the PDC dropped their uh, attempt at getting a ladies' world championship going. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure we all know the reason why. Um, although it shouldn't have been the way it was, but it is what it is, and that's how they want to um, promote their their sport on that side of the continent so let them have at it and we'll do our own thing here in north america i like that idea i like the idea of getting something going here in north america uh and then letting these you know everybody else just do what they want to do and leave uh, leaving us alone um exactly. make uh, them want to come to us yeah i like that idea uh, a lot are you going to try to make the bdo women's world championship yeah um i'm playing in the north american championship tour I did on the Sunday after the Canadian Open. I played that again, came in for, you know, seemed to be my, my mm -hmm. MO that week. But uh, the next stop is Kingston, and I'll be, I will be there. So you'll go to Kingston, and you'll play in London. And yep. are, are you going to go down to New Orleans for the NWDS? Yeah, we're planning on it, uh, just checking flights. And actually, there's a good sale on right now, so we should be buying them either tonight or tomorrow. Well, we should totally hang out some in New Orleans. I want to go down a little early. Definitely. And uh, I've never been there. It's fantastic. Yeah. And um, I really like the idea of being able, if you travel to a tournament, having at least some time to see the site. So, you know, before we uh, let you go, you went around, you had Monday off, and you went around St. John's, Newfoundland. Yes. And, and yeah. tell, tell us what that was like. Well, the only thing I've ever heard about St. John's, Newfoundland, is that you have to go to George Street. Well, um, I went to George Street, but it was on Monday afternoon, which was very quiet considering that after probably 9 p.m. at night, it is very, very, very crowded, and I'm really glad I didn't go, but uh, it's pretty crazy down there, and it is like a street party, and every bar is there. They block off the street. And that is wall-to-wall -wall bars. But you, you did mention that it's uh, like the scenery around there is spectacular. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, we went to Signal Hill. Uh, we drove around, around a little bit. Um, it sort of reminds me of Scotland. Just the, it's beautiful country. 
and uh, if you like seafood, that's a that's a good place to go. Awesome. And then um, we also talked about because uh, you know we were kind of like talking about the webcam darts. I'm not sure how remote you live. Have you ever tried to play the the webcam darts or anything like that? Any of that online stuff? No, I've never played it. I know Jeff Smith plays it a lot. Um, I'm not too sure whether I'd be able to to motivate myself enough to to play well enough. You know, I'm more of a um, situation player. I, I I feed off the surroundings and and the the time. And if I'm here by myself, just playing on the webcam, I I don't know whether I would get anything out of it really. Okay, we're First, the next. Okay, I'm I'm asking because the next uh, segment of the show, Mystery Mark finally did his homework. I and did. He's going to do a, <laughs> a little uh, report on the webcam darts and stuff. Um, yeah, we're my, we're my, my chat room wants to know, Mark did. Do they have men's clothing where you got your hat? <laughs> Do they have men's clothing where I got my hat? See, I, I wanted a chat my room girl for so long. My I head was is so happy when I got one. <laughs> my head is a hand me down. Be careful what you wish for. for it. You might just get it. Anybody, yeah. anybody that does not like my head, feel free to uh, just me. Just, just add to this. Just Look at this mark. Uh, Robin. And, yes. and and Callie, thanks for coming on. I, I want to have you guys on again real soon. By the way, soon, I would like to say thanks a lot, Callie, for you know the conversation. You yeah. were great. <laughs> yeah, anytime. Hey, guys. I'm gonna be uh, up in your. I thought you the added woods. a lot to this thing. <laughs> we 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 may have to start calling you guys the Whisper Twins. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Stacy and Trish don't seem to play together very much. Anyway, uh, you can you can keep listening to the show. Just mute your microphone, and but we'll have you if on again you real soon because there are some Stay issues on, that. Girls. Uh, <laughs> There are some issues I would like to discuss with you guys and have you guys weigh in on, and we're just not going to have time today. But thanks so much for coming on. I, I really, really do appreciate it. No problem, Steve. Thanks very much for having me. All right. We'll see you guys soon. All right. And take then, care, guys. Okay. We'll thanks. be back for the fourth quarter in a second. You're listening to Dart Talk with Mark, Steve, and Chat Room Girl, and we'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay, back for the fourth quarter, brought to you by the Dart Zone. Stay in the zone. The DartZone.com is an official Cosmo distributor. Also, many thanks, Windy City Fabricators, Redwood Darts, and a special thanks to Robin Curry. I thought yeah. I've been trying to get her on the show for a while. I, I really enjoyed talking to her. It's no, nice it's to nice. get it's yeah. nice to get some other voices on the show aside from mine. Pretty yeah. sure everybody We've would agree on that. We say that every week. Well, I try to get Chat Room Girl to talk, right. and all, a good thing we gave her the bell. <laughs> I've been talking. As long as you're talking to the microphone, I have no I problem with it. I am. <laughs> so we only have 15 seconds left. We do. So how'd webcam darts go? Oh, it was fun. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We no, promised, no, no. We promised to report. We're done for our hour, so I'm going to say is it was fun, and we'll talk about it next week. No, no, no. Seriously. No, um, I, I, I tried it. I don't know if it was a year ago or more than a year ago. It was, I had a couple of people t- helping me. It was very frustrating. Mm-hmm. I, I was very, very dubious how it would help me, well, and I told you that. I can't, I can't talk about what you tried because I never tried that. No, but the idea, but just for the people that you know haven't been following right. us every week, why we haven't done webcam darts. Mark's turn. Yeah, hang on a second. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to get We're people to, to catch up here. Yes. The uh, the idea so, the idea was that because you're not like a computer nerd, you could correct. just sort of like you you would investigate <laughs> you would Mark investigate you would investigate you know how it was as right. an experience as a new user and then come back and report to our audience exactly. you know kind of objectively right. how it was. No, and it's very easy. Yeah, and uh, they, they well, no, you should actually say what you said to me when you walked in. Well, I'm getting to that. I no, thought you were well, talking start. About don't bury the lead. Start with what <laughs> What was the first thing you told me ab- about that it? That I think you, you would really enjoy it. Yeah, and you said it was awesome. Yeah. It was okay. uh, but he I, was very excited when it came he out. Was, he was stoked. But like, I think you, I couldn't you know, like it. from an aspect of what you were talking about, it's not just, I mean, the, the fact is not just you would really like it. I think because it, it's for everybody. Um, you can play top-notch players. Um, you can play bottom. You can play whatever level you are. You know, <laughs> I thought you were going to say bottom feeders. Bro- and I no, was like, but wow. you can you can play whatever level you are. I mean, you know, so I could go in there and I just um, I played one little quick uh, best of three. But the f- the fact is, then you're also on video chat, so you're actually it's like I mean, you could take uh, a friend of yours and go to a bar and just play a bunch of five hundred one to warm up practice and, and get ready deal for a with, tournament and deal with the distractions and the logistics of or actually meeting somebody out somewhere and have the same conversation with them. Right. Just in your house and his house. And that was the, 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 the one thing that you said that struck me as being like a massive difference between, because, you know, they've been, all the soft tip machines are doing like online darts mm-hmm. now, but you can't talk to your opponent. Right. Here, what? It, it's yeah. like a normal conversation. Oh, absolutely. You, you know, you don't have to talk if you don't want to, but you can hear the guy, you hear the darts, and then, you know, a guy throws a ton 35, you say nice darts, and they say thanks, and then you keep moving, and then the game's over. For one one leg's over and it's like nice shot and then you move on to the next leg and and then you know when you get done you could just sit there and have a twenty minute conversation after your darts are over say you're say you played best of nine you won five four or whatever and then you you know okay it goes into the into the lobby about that you won but you guys can just sit there and have a conversation talk about your darts you could talk about family you could talk about whatever you could get to know somebody you can talk to somebody in Ireland that you you know and Get to know him. Which is what you did, right? Oh, yeah. You played yeah, a guy. It says, it says Andy from Tennessee Andy said you had a really easy game against uh, Eamon. I, t- I, didn't, talk into I, didn't the mic. A, I didn't have an easy game. He decided that, well, both of us decided we weren't going to hit any doubles. So it was <laughs> it, it, it both. So it was a long game. I was the beneficiary of actually hitting him after, you know, I don't know, 25 darts or whatever. But All right, um, so run it down for me now. Now, setting it up on the computer, you said, was relatively easy. It's real easy. They, I mean, they have it all written down for you. You click this button. You sign in. You need a Google Plus account. They tell you exactly what to do. And then basically, I mean... You register. You put a. You know. You log in with your. Uh, your. Like your e- Google email, Plus. Your your email password. If you have Google, it's you're logging in with your email and. You your mean password. Gmail. Gmail. So you could you okay. So you use your like Gmail password right. and stuff. Okay. So you. I mean, you should have that memorized, so that's not like you have to write down another email or another password. You write that down. Um, then you know the first time, and everybody's really helpful too. I mean, they all know if it's your first time. You ask them how to do it. They let you go, and then the first time you ever... So now, when you say they let you go, I mean, you're talking to people in the chat room. How yeah. do I, like, get to the software Hi, and I'm all new. this stuff? Hi, right. I'm new. Help me out. Everybody's very friendly, and they'll okay. explain it to you. Uh, and then when I first got on, it goes straight to uh, uh, the video chat, and I'm talking to them, and 
I'm like, well, what do I do now? And he's like, well, it'll probably prompt you for this. And it does. And it just, it's a, a plug-in that you have to download. Downloads in like two minutes. Okay. And this but is for the, the, like the scorekeeping software? Yeah. Okay. In order to, yeah, to see the video of the dartboards and. Do you remember what it was called? What the software was called? Was it Web Pro Darts or? I don't remember exactly. Don't remember. No. Okay. It was something. It was. It was it's I think because I think they said that they're not plug-in using. F- it's a plugin for Google Plus. It's 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 an okay. install plugin for Google Plus okay. that, that they that Google Plus downloads and it takes like two minutes. Okay, but I mean they, they had scorekeeping so. software when I used it that didn't seem to work very well, mm-hmm. and I thought one of the guys said that or. I talked to Tanya Howe in Kentucky, and she said they changed it, and it's all different now, and yeah, it works and good. Yeah, you have this. different options. You can you can keep right. your opponent's dartboard on your screen. You can keep only the scoreboard on the screen. But the bottom line is, is it's just a little, um, little bar, and you you know you throw your darts, you punch your score in, you hit enter. Okay, so for for the people you know. that are like kind of just listening on the audio and stuff, basically. You set up your laptop, you plugged a, uh, a webcam into your laptop. You didn't use the built-in camera, you used a, a webcam so you they, get they closer. Even, on the site, they even say, they suggest you have a webcam camera instead of the computer. Because it, it can, you get it closer to the right. board so you can actually see what's going on. Yeah. And then you download like the little scorekeeper software mm-hmm. and stuff and, and off you go. You go into the, you go into they the got the a lobby. little lobby to go find a game. You can stay in the chat room for hours and not do anything and watch so now, or talk to people or and then some you know people are always constantly going does anybody want a game does anybody want a game and you can play best of five you can play whatever you want you can play ladder which is you know they let okay. make different things best of 10 you know where you can tie at five um, you can play you know best of five sets of you know okay. nine legs whatever you want to do play with, but it's all oh one yeah okay awesome yeah it's my kind of side <laughs> right and, but, I mean, you know, the bottom line is it's like, you know, some of the questions were raised. Well, you know, are people really throwing it the correct height of a board? Well, the hockey? Yeah, and, yeah. And really, the, but the people on the site are really, they're trying to improve their game. So who in their right mind would improve their game with the wrong dimensions? Well, you know, it's I not see. not help them out. Yeah, I mean, I see people like, I, I wouldn't say bragging, but, you know, there are people like, oh, well, you know, I average this, I average that. And I'm like, well, well that that's great. Cricket but, is mm-hmm. coming soon. Oh, cricket is coming soon, yes. and and we are just talking about it's webcamdarts.com Correct. is is the site that you go to mm-hmm. for this. Yeah, and they're they're like just it's totally free. It's a nonprofit deal. Correct. Where it, it strikes me, and and I don't remember who posted this when, but somebody said you know, as a as a tool to improving your game, it would be really really good. And that's and, what I got. And out you of concur? It. Yeah, because I mean, just I mean, even if even if you don't want to play anybody else in there you and i could play yeah how do you know if somebody's like really really good or really really not is it like soft tip where everybody's got a nickname and you never know who you're playing not or really did I you mean, sign in as mystery mark i did oh awesome okay but but then it also you also sign in you know you r- type your name in and so it says mystery mark and then it says my full name under it so i mean it's not oh, well like i'm completely anonymous <laughs> oh because i would just go in as dart talk and yeah yeah um, say my name is dart talk but um capital d in effect, you have to play a lot of games Obviously. after you play, like, I think you told me, after you play 10 matches, I mean, they, they'll give you an average for the, the three, well, I really only played two, but okay. um, the two legs I played, but you, after you play 10, you start getting on the stat board, and you're going to see people that have an average of 50 points, at, uh, you know, or 80, or So, 60. is it next to your name, or... Yeah, in the lobby it was. Yeah, I mean. So in the lobby, you're associated with your average. You can be, or you cannot be. Right. Well, no, I mean they, it's alphabetical order on the lobby. So it's but you can just go down to people, you can talk to them and say, hey, I'm this type of player who wants a game. I don't want to play a pro. Oh, okay. You know, I see. You and it's just sort of everybody's like. You can find pros to play, or you can find you can find anybody at whatever level you want. Okay. And then they also have tournaments too. They have tournaments on. Fridays and Sundays, so I mean, then that tournaments that anybody can enter. So I could be in the same tournament as you, okay. Even though you might not want to play somebody in my skill level. Like do they have doubles? I, I guess you. Well, I you'd have to have like people with you. You'd yeah, have to be they like. They didn't have doubles, but I guess. Well, you I guess could. you could play. You just yeah. have one score, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, if I mean, uh, if, if, if somebody's there, I mean, the whole idea behind this is like you're not kind of around people. You're right. you're by yourself. That's why you're doing yeah, it. Yeah, you wouldn't know if there was actually a second person there. You could throw well, all six darts, 
and because you, you don't see the person walking. Oh, have a ringer throw for you? Yes, like, hey, I'm right. going to get Phil Taylor to win my webcam dart. Who would bother with that, <laughs> no. honestly? But I think the whole venue is it's about improving your game, and, and you like to practice, and you need to practice before events. Well, And this would be – it's a good way to, instead of having to figure out how you get somewhere and meet somebody, you make a phone call and say, log on, and let's play. Yeah, or send a text or something. Mm-hmm. Well, that was the thing that Robin said – that I uh, kind of clicked with me where she said she didn't know kind of how she would respond to it. Yeah. You know, because they're kind of lazy. And then because earlier I was saying, well, what I would do, because we talked about putting a board up here. Uh, right. hope somebody's not listening. <laughs> you know, and, and I could do it from here. Right. Because I have more room. And I'm kind of like thinking, well, you know, if I did my normal practice for a while and then once I was done practicing, oh, maybe I'll go on and get some games because, you know, you get bored. If if you're just uh, just the sheer repetition of my practice routine. Well, that's the point. That's uh, after that, a couple of hours gets a little like. And I was going to say know. something to Robin about that too. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, it's obviously not the same surroundings as a tournament, um, but it's also I don't know what her practice regimen is. I don't know. Yeah, if, we didn't we didn't get a chance know, to if, ask her if if she gets bored at home and she can't get into it. But you can actually, it's that what makes it that much better. You also all of a sudden, you know, say we're equally competitive or good at darts and you know i mean like i'm still going to want to beat you even though we're in separate rooms you know i'm we're going to be counting down from 501 and i'm going to try to get to the double because i just want to beat you and so it's kind of practice but at the same time you're getting that competitive nature where if i don't hit this double 16 i'm going to lose as opposed to if you're just by yourself well if you don't hit the double 16 you know i mean Okay, well, my, my biggest, I don't know if it, I would call it an objection, but, like, the, the thing I was most sort of like, geez, I don't know about this, was that it was so different than just playing somebody, you know, for real or, you know, somebody that's actually in the same I place as you. I think it's the same. Yeah, see, you're, you're saying completely the opposite mm-hmm. of what I expected. You're like, it's just like playing somebody that you would normally meet up and play with. Correct. Except you don't have to bother meeting up and playing with right. them. I mean, when well, you can, you can well, physically. verbally speak with somebody, it, what's the difference if you're standing next to them or not? And you can yeah. see their dartboard, and it, whether it's the same dartboard you're throwing at at a bar or you're throwing at your dartboard and he's throwing at his, and you guys can have a conversation. To me, it was almost equally the same. Yeah, I didn't think about that. If somebody's got a better board than you and you're hitting more bounce outs, you're going to be well, even sure. more irritated. <laughs> That's possible. Like this guy's beat me because he's got a better board. <laughs> well, then go get a better board. Then go get a better board. Yeah. Right. Or, you know, yeah, whatever. I mean, okay. you know, or, if, you know, if you're doing it, you know, I, I, all these people want to win. Okay. You know, so. All right. So, okay, let's pretend it's like an iPhone app or a, a let's pretend it's a phone app where, you know, how the phone app games always like tell you, hey, rate me. One to five sure. stars. Well, how many stars I'd you give I'd probably it? give it a five. You give five yeah, stars. I would. And say totally awesome and everybody should do it. I'd say everybody should try it out. I mean, obviously nothing. All right. Not everything is for everybody, but well, I well. don't see how it's not for the majority. I, I would I would have to say that you have just given it an unqualified endorsement. Right. All right. Well, cool. And I'd also like to add that this weekend, 8 p.m. UK time, UK time. Which is what in Chicago? Oh, I don't make me do that. Um, That'd be two. For league members with a 50 and under average this Saturday uh, for free, they have a big prize turning Saturday with giving away a set of Alex Roy's darts. Okay. If you don't talk into the mic soon, I I'm going <laughs> to get a big <laughs> stick. <laughs> All right, so they're giving a set of but Alex anyway. Roy's darts to the winner of this of 50 and under average tournament that's, I guess it would be, I think it's six-hour time difference. So it's 8 p.m. UK. That'd be 2 in the afternoon Chicago, 3 in the afternoon New York, mm-hmm. and 11 in the morning on the West Coast. All right, yep. interesting. So yeah, our And I know they're starting a podcast and doing all this other stuff. Yeah, so I, mean, they, you know, they I got an email from somebody about that. They have a advertisement for that to listen to the podcast. I think th- but I think their podcast is basically about okay. the webcab darts tournaments they have. And, well, they asked me to come stuff. on the podcast. Maybe you should do it. You want to go on and, and talk to them about it? <laughs> I don't know if they want to talk to me, but I would, sure. Well, I mean, you're you not as know. tall as I am, <laughs> but, but you have You've better taste in hats. Games, Mark. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> revenge games. I'm glad you had a good experience. That was the one. Well, well that's you. the one thing Look I'm wondering is like games. in the chat room. I mean, you were you were kind of hanging out in the chat room. Were there a lot of guys talking smack? No. No. Okay. So I mean, it was well, a nice okay, polite crowd. I guess, and that would be the other part of it. The whole aspect of it is, you know, social media is so big. It's 
it's a way to communicate with other people too as well as yeah. throwing darts and practicing i mean you can have actual you create friendships you know it's just like you know facebook or or whatever else tweeting you create friendships and then a lot of these people are constantly in there a couple of days three four five days a week and next thing you know, you start talking to them. You play, you play a match with them. You have a conversation by yourselves. And then next thing you know, two days later, you can just kind of catch up within the, in the chat room. And it, people end up, you know, becoming friends and having genuine conversations. Okay, so for the so recreational. It's not just about playing darts. Right. So for the recreational people that enjoy the uh, meeting new people and the social aspects of, of playing darts, mm -hmm. you get that as well is yeah, what you're saying. Exactly. All right. And then if you're really competitive, there's a. Canadian national players that play in there. There's well, I know there's some. Players. I know there's some very good players that play. Right. I mean you, you, that that much. You know, I've I've known about. I saw somebody posting something. How come we can't get more, you know, top flight players on there? Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting. I mean, because you're associated with a rating. I mean, it. it I, I wonder if it, it's going to turn into like the high school lunchroom where I, I'm I'm cool. I'm a 90. I only talk to people that are 85 and up no, or something. No, I don't think so. It sounds to me it, like it's nothing like that. Well, the one guy one guy was telling me it's you know kind of, he's some people don't like playing like the 30, 40 average players. Is that per dart or round? Per round. 30 per round. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, wow. you know, you okay. got beginners and everything. Yeah, that's beginners. Some yeah. some of the pros don't like playing them. Some of the pros do like playing with them to help them. Yeah, well, so there's you know, it's just like anything else. There's some people that don't want to do it. There's some people that will do it. There's some people that only want to play people at their level. Um, and then when you do get into the tournaments, anybody at any level can be in those tournaments. So you might have to, as a pro, play somebody that's averaging forty darts, forty points around anyway. I wonder if but if you could go on there and you could be a pro and you could. You know, just say to somebody who averages 40 points around and say, do you want to play? And just to give them more legs. Everybody's getting more legs. Everybody's practicing. I wonder if, if anybody's tried to, like, set one of these up at, like, a local pub or something. Well, I, I wonder mean, if so, that would be interesting. There's so loud, many people around the like world. Back, back might be total, well, it might be totally loud. So what? I mean, it just strikes me as being like an interesting way to introduce darts to people that don't play mm -hmm. is go to a bar and set this up. I mean, I, I guess you, I mean, they need some Wi-Fi. I don't know what kind of uh, – we'll have to get a uh, – ask one of the guys in the chat room what's the minimum bandwidth that you need uh, upload and see if it's like – if 0.5 will do, 0.5 megabyte up, upload will do. Well, then you just say having somebody walk up and say, okay. Well, no, I mean, literally, I could haul a laptop into a bar with a webcam, mm -hmm. set it up, and then just rope people into playing some dude in England. Yeah. I mean, as an exhibition or something, I, I, I wonder – you know, because people like novelty. Right. And the, I the don't, only, the most people problem, don't realize that you could play darts online against somebody though, across the you world. Need, you need a, like, you know, you can't have out, around, outside noises. You can't have a, a, a radio blaring, the, the jukebox you could just, blaring. But, yeah, but you could take the sound off. You could take the sound off on your camera when you're playing. Sure. And then that but wouldn't then be an issue. then you're not able to talk to the person you're playing with. Well, no. Just chucking darts. And then it'd be like the soft tip thing where you can't. There's right. no sound communication between exactly. the opponents. Right. Yeah. So, so maybe that that's might a bad be a, idea. Might then. cause a little bit of a problem. On the other well, hand, if you had a dead bar or you feel like a pool area in the back where there's no music coming and upstairs it will. It's a Tuesday afternoon. Upstairs it will. Right. It's a Tuesday night. Nobody's around. Right. It would work perfectly. Upstairs it wills. Bandwidth. Yeah. Right. right. Bandwidth. Bandwidth. Yeah. One exactly. One connection suggested. Uh, what What'd she say? One. Mbps to one Mbps. Yeah, one megabit per second. Yeah, you yeah. Go up okay. down. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not group video connectivity. They suggest one to two. One to two. Okay, that's if you're if you're just getting the Starbucks Wi-Fi, that wouldn't that be enough. Have played at local but yeah, I mean, if their internet. Hang on, and how th how'd that work for him? They say anything yeah, about it? They've done it, and they also did it at a pool tournament. They brought take it into a tap Percy's Tavern. I guess. That's in New York. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they did it at Percy's. Okay, how'd that work? Great. Okay, interesting. Awesome. Okay, well, so, so an unqualified five-star rating it, for uh, webcam darts. I div definitely give it some thumbs up. It's uh, So you it's enjoyed it. You were reluctant yeah. to do it. You were kind of <laughs> dreading it, as I recall. Well, yeah, I mean, well, it's, you haven't been more, playing. it's more being lazy than anything else. But I have to set up my camera, and I have to actually do it. And, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, and plus, I mean, a lot of it has to do with, you know, I – my ambition for darts has not been the same 
for the last two years as it used to be. So well, maybe this will motivate you. Right. So, I mean, maybe I mean, now it's, I it's a little played, more fun to play. You know, like the guy that I played today is like, "Do you want to play a little three set match?" And he goes, "I haven't warmed up all day." And I said, "Don't worry, I haven't played in six months." Right. Well, so, maybe you'll <laughs> play more. I mean, right. it seems to me like it's as definite, long as it's it's a definite venue to get people to play more. You don't have to worry about going somewhere you can. Yeah, I would think the problem that the only problem people are going to have are are like you know getting a permanent hookup for whatever they're. You know, mm-hmm. where are you going to put your computer? You know, where are you going to put your camera? Are you going to trip over it? Do you have to take it up, take That's it down, the hard, stuff the like hardest, that? That seems the like the hard part. The most difficult part yeah. was figuring out where to put my tripod. And then you can also buy for like 10 bucks at Radio Shack or something. You can actually get like a USB keypad thing to just put the numbers. So it, it, instead of going for the numbers up here, you just, it's got, it's, it's looks oh, like this. Okay. And right? it's and just, you just plug, plug it in, in so computer, you can just right. plug and enter. And then they had, the old one they had had speed keys where you could program F1 to be a ton, mm-hmm. F2 to be a ton 40, F3 to be a ton 77 and stuff like that to save you typing. Right. If you're going to be doing this stuff a lot, you know, so. Well, and that's, you know, and one of the guys I was talking to, they're working on obviously improving it. Nothing's perfect. It's well, only been going on th- since January. Okay. But the things like that, I think they're trying to work on things that make it easier and s- faster to type in scores and, and keep things moving. I mean, it's fast. It's fast already. Okay, you know. so an un unqu- but an unqualified mm-hmm. you know five star rating I think is awesome. Yeah, I mean you, okay. you punch in the wrong score, you can change it. You, that's why it's good to be able to talk to your opponent. You know, it'd be nice to get it set up in here, and maybe we could do some do some games right. after the show or something. It's a little late for those guys, for the European guys. No, it's going to be yeah, like three in the morning for them. Yeah, yeah well that's what I asked. Said, get the so East, uh, get the him, West said, Coast so guys. So if I'm out at nine at nine o'clock at night because I was there at two and it's he's at eight o'clock. In Ireland, and I said, so, if, you know, I get on 9 and 10, you're not going to be around. He goes, you'd be surprised. <laughs> well, <laughs> so I, I mean, it's kind of funny. I mean, you know, you're sitting up late watching TV. You may as well play darts. Right. I mean, it's better but, for you. You know, then, right. you know, any Americans that are on, they're going to be on at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, too. So how many people were, when, when you were in their little chat room, how many people were in there? Uh, there it varied probably for you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 people coming in, coming out. But the one guy was telling me that they have like 513 people that have registered as members. Okay. Well, that's going to so, just go higher. Right. So, I mean, you, know, Sassy, you I say, say the novelty is not going to wear off. I would say there's online. a good 20 The novelty is not going to wear off. Is it people really, you know, on the soft tip side, you say they really enjoy playing the soft tip or the online stuff. Right. And I, I, I play through the dark slide boards. So and you do it all the time? I, I enjoy it. Now, how do you find players? You just select it on up on the top of the screen. It just comes up with people who are looking to play. Does it have their little yep. ranking or what their, their ranking is? You can either play a, a new player or a, a pro player. Depends on what level of play you want to play, and then you wave hi. You play. See now that seems way way lamer than what you're doing here on the uh, you you, you well, on, the, no on the sound. Sob- there's yeah, no there's sound no sound, sound and right. you kind of yeah. wave to yeah. somebody and then you start. It's whereas you, you can actually have a human game. conversation with somebody. But there's no visual, so I don't see the person. Well, they could stand in front of their dartboard well, and wave. They could. I guess they could. But I'd yeah. rather talk to somebody and not see them than just I, yeah. have no sound and watch Definitely. somebody wave. Right. You know, I, I think I, so you know, they, I'm the so verbal sort. So you actually sort, know there's a human being there? Is <laughs> as opposed to, like, the robot that never misses? <laughs> like, oh, This okay. guy's unbelievable. You know, we're, have, we're having a conversation. The last Sid Finch of darts. Uh, right, right. So. Oh, di- we didn't, you know, we never brought that we up. We never did. No. Okay. But we'll last have to do that next week. pre-show fight we were talking about, or actually it was post-show fight. About playing in the noisy bar and then going yeah, to yeah. the tournament and it's quiet or yeah. vice versa. Because <coughs> I have some people in here saying that it would, they would be worried they would get used to it being quiet at home and then going out and playing and be noisy. Well, turn the radio on, or have s- play it in your headphones well, or something. Exactly. Okay, and and and, and me and the uh, one guy talked about that. And there's no way to prove that it equates to being better at tournaments. Oh, I don't see how you could do but, that. I, I, but. The aspect is, is now you're, you're going to, too it, far. It can't yeah. hurt. No. Right? No. Okay, but now going to a bar and just playing against a guy just to practice before your tournament this weekend isn't going to get I any don't, better towards I you. never thought, yeah. I don't think that would either. I, right. I mean, as far so, as somebody, well. I, so, in effect, the the object is is it's the same thing as going out. It doesn't matter if you have ambient noises in the background or if you have a stereo blaring or you really can't have anything going on because you want to have the microphone on. The bottom line is, is r- what you're really trying to do is practice, go from 501 down to nothing, hit doubles as quick as you can, and beat somebody. And that's what you're trying to do in a tournament. So all it can do is help. It's not going to 
help you in tournaments, so to speak, but it could make your darts better. Well, there's 64 people online right now. Okay, it's you know. okay. No, um, no, I gotta say this. It, it's like the old saying. I'm quoting right here. It's like the old saying goes: If you can bring your basement play to the tourneys, you'll be you'll do great. Well, yeah, that's that's sure. the trick that nobody except Phil Taylor apparently has mastered. Is, but you this know, is can different. you bring your living room game out on the road? But the li- yeah. this is now a better living room game. It's not me just throwing darts and playing. Well, th- you're th- now you're bringing button. the road to your living room. Exactly. So you the, you've solved one of the problems, right. right? So I think that's great. I think if, if if you're a player that already has their own little routine mm-hmm. or something, incorporating this into it shouldn't be that hard. And and you're saying is probably going to be relatively edifying. Yes. And under no way could it hurt you. I, I, can't I can't imagine. I can't imagine how it could possibly hurt. You. Unless mentally somehow you're getting frustrated that you know when I'm online I average 111 and then I go on the road and I average 80. You know, I mean, unless that messes with you. I, I guess, mean, I can't imagine that, that. That's your own fault, isn't I, it? Well, yeah, I can't. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I mean, I can't imagine this hurting you. Yeah. Right. I mean that you know. You're playing it at your pace. Right. right. You can see the other guy's darts in the board. So, I mean, I mean you, it's a little more realistic than I Even if you constantly, go, if you constantly went on and played somebody and they constantly threw an average of 100 around and you lost all the time, but you're throwing 95, that still helps because you're trying to improve. It. Every every dart that you throw with a purpose helps you. Exactly. I, I've all, you know, right. I'm, I'm not one of these and people th- that just kind of like whip starts at the board. You're going to throw thinking. more with a purpose when yeah. you actually have somebody you're playing against than at home just doing a practice routine. Well, a lot of people don't have practice routines. I mean, we've True. we've helped people with that, and we still get questions. I, I actually mm-hmm. I forgot to get by, back to somebody who was asking about practice routines. But um, it, it just seems to me that it's going to make it easier. If, if it's going to make you easier to, to play, then you should do it. Correct. You know, people should play and play as often as they can. And you think about it's 30 minutes there, 30 minutes there. That's an extra hour you get to play. Right. So even right there, how can that? How does that not help your game, mm-hmm. right? Plus so the okay. fact that you know somebody goes to bed, there's somebody else to play. You know, somebody's got to you go with. Well, uh, the whole time thing is sort of it's crazy. A new way of looking at yeah. things. So what time is it in England now? Right. You well, know, what time is it in Singapore? One guy's telling I mean, me he's know. like, where else can I have the opportunity to play the best woman player in New Zealand? Right. It, it's, well, it's pretty unless cool. Unless you are willing to take a long <laughs> airplane ride, uh, you'll never do it. Right. I think that's great, and it. it I, I wonder if uh, whoever's running this thing, maybe they should kind of like get some of these guys somewhere and and publicize it. We're going to have these guys in here on Saturday. Come and you know play them, and then they'll take on anybody in like a best yeah. of three or whatever if they want to kind of pump it up. I don't know how many American pros you could get to do it, but right, right. It would, it would depend on whether the pros wanted to do that. But, but I mean, I if think the, some uh, of them a would promotion say, yeah. like that, I think, yeah. where they could really show people, you know, how cool it is. Once I a think, month or something. How you, can you that get a not pro to do it? I, I hope if it grows that they're able to handle it. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember when they when health clubs were the big boom, and the place was great for like two months, and then they sold so many memberships that <laughs> I couldn't get a <laughs> locker anymore. <laughs> right, and then it was like, oh, you know what? I don't like this anymore. You right. Know, so. So I, I asked, Interesting. you know, so the person can't see you when you're playing against. Right. And they said, well, they can if you have two webcams. Well, sure. But I said, so that's great. So I can play in my PJs then, and you guys can't make fun of me while I I'm believe playing. somebody exactly said that you she play does naked. play in her PJs. You can play naked if and you so want. Oh, oh can, we can we just keep, keep it, it clean? clean? Yeah, PG rated. Well, take a shower, and then you're clean. If you're oh. naked, oh. you're clean. Oh, sweet oh, gosh. <laughs> sweet <laughs> oh. Jesus. All right, let's wrap it up. I didn't oh. say to touch yourself with the darts. Oh, okay. <laughs> five. S- oh, so let's, I'm gonna have to cut let's this play part. my Blackhawks <laughs> song oh. now. Oh, <laughs> he didn't find it at the last break. <laughs> oh, though. you didn't tell me to get no. it at the last yeah, break. Whatever. I can't find it me. now. We forgot. No, we don't. Do you see how they disrespect me? Oh, All right. please. But anyway, anyway, thanks everybody for listening. We're gonna wrap it up. We will be back to Wednesdays next yes. week. Um, but thanks everybody for following us on Tuesday, and uh, we'll have a lot of new stuff. Next week, I'm glad Skype is working, but we'll try to get some more people on the show. Got anything? No. Thanks anything to, uh, I just want to say to our guests yeah. one more time. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Robin, Robin and Callie. And Callie and, uh, Greatly appreciated. Thanks to Robin thanks and Callie. Guys, thanks to the guys at Webcam Darts. They were helpful for me today. And, uh, yeah, and thank I you, Chat it. Room. My and chat thank, room's yep. been great tonight. Everybody, thanks for chatting. Thanks for listening. We will uh, Dart Talk to you next week. So everybody take care.
Okay, we'll hang around for a few minutes if uh, 